Good day, one hundred Biafra. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, every I P U B family. Welcome back to our channel. It's one and only Adag Biafra. Thank you, my people, to all of you that have been sharing and commenting, liking our videos. Thank you and God bless all of you, all of you that have been subscribed, all of you that have been following me up. And you, if you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to put your bell icon on to get notification. Thank you to the new subscribers. God bless all of you, and you that are yet to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, my people, and God bless all of you. So today, my people, I'm going to talk about the border closure and why they closed it, leaving their own open. Hmm? Their own border is open. For people not to say, eh, what evidence do you have to show that their own border is open? I'll put a video here to see how they are smuggling rice into their own side, their own place. After that, they will tell you people they have a rice manufacturing company in the north. Hmm? So... They close the border just to suffer the Igbos doing business, to bring down Igbos business, to punish the Igbos important. That is why they close the border and leave their own open. What did Igbos ever do to you people? They know very well that Igbos are the ones doing business, important goods. They know very well, I won't say they don't know, because we all know that they know very well that Igbos are the pillar holding that contraption. Yes, they know very well. They are busy just to intimidate and just to suffer the Igbos. Just to make sure that they bring the Igbos business down. They are busy removing the pillar holding that country. Their economy is down. But they are busy bringing down the pillars holding it. The day, some of you that are doubting it, some of you that say, hey, it's not the only Igbos doing business. You will tell me how many other tribes in that country, important. You will call them out. You will bring them out. You will tell us how the Igbos are not the only people doing business. How do you, how the Igbos are not the ones holding that country's economy and the pillar holding that country. The day they will remove the only pillar holding that country, that is when you people will know that the Igbos are the ones holding that country. They stopped Ibeto from importing cement. Allowed only Dangote. Why? Because he's from northern side. If the way they forced and intimidated, intimidated innocent for him to move his uh, company to north, he refused. Because what Ojuku said is still in his head. He still remembers what Ojuku said. Bring your wealth home. Bring your investment home. Invest in your own place. These people are not ready to invest in your own place because they hate you. They don't want anything good for you. They don't want you people to uh, move forward. They don't want you people to progress. They don't want you people to establish your place. They only want you people to be running out. That is why they denied you people everything. To make sure that you people must surely run out to invest in other places in that country. But Innocent said, no, I'm not moving my, my company. I'm not moving my company, no matter what. They intimidated him. They called Digiti Bank and every other thing was part of all those things because of he refused to move his company. If in that Innocent is Dangote, hmm? they would have stopped everything concerning importing of cars in Nigeria. But because he's an able man, they're importing outside. Why they have the only car manufacturing company in that country. They don't value his products. They don't patronize him. They only patronize him once in a while for people not to say, eh, you people are not patronizing the person producing cars in your country. Hmm? Because he's an able man. If I thought it's Dangoto, they would have stopped everybody, stopped everything concerning the putting of cars in Nigeria. And some of you are still clamoring for one Nigeria. Aren't you people ashamed of yourselves? Does it mean that you people don't have sense or have brain to reason? Think for once. I know that these people can never like us. They can never see us as one because we are trapped in a country. This is three country one. And we are one of the people trapped in it. And that is why we are doing everything possible to separate ourselves, to uh, release ourselves. 
We are tired. We have tried enduring to see if things work out with these people. How do you expect us to progress? How do you expect us to move forward when we have people that doesn't have sense, people that doesn't reason, they don't care about the source of their income? They know this, this thing is the thing uh, giving us money. This is why our country is still standing. But because of their hatred for that P thing or for the owner of that thing, they are ready to bring it down to make sure that person suffers. That is why they are in charge of all the oil, everything in, not, in, in Eastern part that, to make sure that you people will suffer. We are not, it's not their fault because the Eastern leaders are the ones causing all these things. When they will kneel down, begging for every position, like our leader said, that they are busy kneeling down, begging for everything, begging, begging images for every position they are into, begging them for everything. Why you are the ones they're supposed to be begging? That is why they told in their world, in their own culture, they are not allowed. They don't support somebody begging for position. It's against their culture, and that is why they always do everything possible to get within any position they want. But you people will not learn. Look at them closing all their borders and leaving their own open. And people, their people are busy smuggling rice in their place. After that, they will tell you they have rice manufacturing company in the north. That is how they will tell you. They told you people that they have found oil in the north. Which side? Where? When? Without knowing that they have buried pipe from their place back of your house. Without you knowing. They have found oil in the north. Which place? Where? They closed down the borders just to bring evil businessmen down, just to punish them, just to make sure they collapse their businesses without knowing that Igbos are survivors. They are survivors. No matter how hard a place is, Igbos must survive. It's only an evil man that goes into any country, any place with empty hand and comes back with Ghana must go or with luggages. It's only an evil man. Others will say, ah, this place is very hard. We can't survive here. Let's go where things are happening. But Ibos will start from nothing to something. At the end, they will start tagging them. Names start tagging them, Rachelis, yeah, yeah, this one, that one. But you will not remember when you were suffering, they will not remember when you had nothing, when you were struggling to get to the position you are. Let them close the border, that's their business. The more they close the border, the more their economy goes down. But Igbo governors, like Maz and uh, uh, Baribe, with one other man from uh, this thing, from Imo State. If we have like these two people, if we have more of these people, like five, these people will start taking the Igbo serious. These people will start taking the Igbo side, the, 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 the Igbo uh, governors or Igbo leaders serious. But because we have governors, go to Anambra State. That one will tell you, I have, I have a, 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 this thing, my eighty dollars in my government, shameless governor. And I'm a uh, 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 state. That one is there doing nothing. A boy state. That one is even worse. Abia state. Which governor again are you going to point out? Apart from uh, uh, um, um, Imo state governor. And the. Uh, I am uh, uh, this thing, River State Governor. That's the only two governors I know that they don't beg for anything. Uh, for uh, uh, this thing, a uh, uh, River State Governor, that one is sure. He's not scared of the cabas. Our people should learn, our people should stand up for their own people. And stop being behaving like a, a, a ranka <laughs> I don't even know what that ranka is. <laughs> what is ranka Somebody should let me know in the comment section. So my people, go watch this video. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share this video in any group, anybody, anywhere, any platform you know.
Mm? So that they will know, this is so that people will see what we are passing through. Closing other borders and leaving their own open and their people are busy smuggling rice in. And at the end of the day, they will tell you people that they have rice manufacturing company in the north. So thank you, my people, and God bless all of you. Thank you all. Ava. Working in Alpha, I decided to find it. You didn't get it. What was it? Come on, you know. I don't know. Hmm? Moving over here. Yeah, I can't. 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 Yeah, I can't.